everybody welcome to or back to my channel if you're new here my name is Shane and I am an animal enthusiast especially of the scaled variety back I'm here and today we are filming a video that I have already made but I have a terrible habit of bringing home animals every second of my life so here's an updated feeding all of my pets. I think we're gonna start with inverts, move to lizards, and then snakes, and that will be the order we go in. First we are going to do my Salmopeus Pulcher. His name is Fizzgig. Salmopeus Pulcher also meaning a Panama Blanc Tarantula. Hey there, I just wanted to quickly pop in and say that I actually have a code for this Etsy shop, and you can use code SHANE20 for 20% off anything from the shop. So I will stick a little link in the description if you're interested in a label. I don't see this one too often, but I can confirm that it exists in here because I do see them come walk around on the cork bark once in a while. So what we can do Christmas. <laughs> he is never interested in taking anything from tongs. He has done it once. I have it on camera. So we are going to do some good old fashioned super worms. And basically I just chuck them in usually down the top. There's another one, put it back here. Fill up the water and I periodically flood the water bowl, basically just flooding the whole corner of the enclosure and a little spray towards the back and he'll get it when he feels like it. we have my bordered mantis, Arizona mantis, green mantis, however you would like to say it. You can see it right here. It's not too old. I actually posted a video when I got this little one and it was the size of my pinky nail. For this little one, I either pre-kill a pinhead cricket or a little bit, um, like a small cricket now. It's big enough for that. Or a superworm and give it that. So that is what we're going to do. Trying to get a decent view, but this little one will often run away and be afraid of the food. Ooh, got a taste. Ooh, it definitely wants it. <laughs> it's a lot of the time too heavy. <laughs> Which is get rid of this. Mantids are just so crazy, like they just are like insane. Let's keep going with tarantulas. I'm shocked to say that I can see that this tarantula is out right now and it is never out. It is always in its burrow, so it must be starting to get big. Oh, and you get a view of Riot there in the corner. Here it is. It does not have a name, but this is a Chaco Goldeny or a Gramostola Falcopedes. This is such a beautiful spider. I got this spider at an expo when it was still quite small from Arachnophiliacs. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, yep. Get it, get it, get it. Did you get it? That would be too good for me. Oh. Oh, did you get it? Did you get it? Dude, I love this spider. I I am so in love with keeping tarantulas. I did not think I would ever be a tarantula keeper. And as soon as I got my first one, I could not stop. I got a terrible first tarantula, uh, but it doesn't matter. I was absolutely in love with them the second I started keeping them. I haven't been able to sex it yet, but I've had it since it was quite small, so next molt, I'm really gonna try. I am gonna fill up more water, and that is it. This is not a permanent enclosure for this spider, but while it is still this small, this is perfectly fine. Staying on tarantulas, 
or I don't think you're going to be able to see as hard as I try to show you. But in here is a Tilacatl Vegans sling or a Mexican red rump tarantula. All my tarantulas are New World tarantulas. This is a terrestrial and so was the previous tarantula. And the one in here, Fizgig, is an arboreal species. I just pop the top off <laughs> like so. And I take some pieces of a mealworm, not a superworm, and just drop them in. I usually will just do two pieces, which is just half and half of a mealworm. And I don't know if you can see the spider. That's it's that's it right there, that little clump. Oh, you can see it just moved. I have had this spider for honestly so long. This is quite apparently a slow growing species because I've had it for literally so long and it is still so tiny. Hi, interesting angle. I just quickly wanted to say, basically I just drop those pieces in there. Every once in a while I will put drops of water in there and later I will just see the spider sitting on top of its little burrow eating the piece like corn on the cob. So I do know that it is for sure eating the pieces I put in. Okay, next we have my jumping spider, which is in this Tarantula Canada enclosure, which, or sorry, not Tarantula Canada, it's in this Tarantula Cribs enclosure, which I definitely need to upgrade it ASAP, but you can see the spider is right here. I love this little one so much. It is absolutely beautiful. I will try to put in a picture or a video of it um, a little bit closer up so you can see it's beautiful markings. I got this and my mantis from mantis labs they were so so tiny uh sometimes it's a small superworm sometimes it's a mealworm today we're doing mealworm because like i said my superworm batch is not great and i pop off the top and the spider will sometimes come out but it's not like i can't just grab it i'm not sure about the gender i think it's a she but honestly i'm bad my previous jumping spider i know was a he that's all i can say Take my little worm and I just whoop, right into the walnut and it basically comes and grabs it like a food bowl. And I will also spray in some water. Okay, here we have Riot. This is a leopard gecko I rescued uh, not too, too long ago, but long enough ago that I should have made a video about it by now. His name is Riot because he makes a riot. He, he has a riot at night, all night long. He is so loud. And he had so many crickets last night. I heard him catching them all night long. But because I want you guys to get to see him eat, I'm going to give him a little worm. So, no, no, don't come out. You can come out later. We hang out at night because I'm a night owl and so is he. Just a little, this is a super worm, but he had a lot of crickets and a silkworm, which is a lot for this little guy. So just some little super worms. Oh, you get it. Vicious, absolutely vicious. Here, do you want this piece of, this is the other half of the super worm that I gave to the mantis. Do you want this? Get it. He might not want it cause it's not moving. He still wants it. Yeah, so that's Riot. I've never had a leopard gecko before, but he's been a delight. This is far from his final setup. Um, this is just what I could do when I just went and got him. So it will be changed. And there he goes. Uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna fill this up. This is a humid hide. Um, you put water in the top, so it dries out so fast. Ada has been having some weird stomach problems recently and we are currently trying to get it figured out, but we don't know why. For her, we've got some kale. Girl, I'm not done. I'm not, there's more to be added. Oh. I'm gonna add some calcium without D3 because today is the no D3 day. She will also get some crickets or worms. Today she got a silkworm. She got it this morning, I'll see if I can find a video. I didn't film it today. She's just getting some kale tonight, but her diet changes every single day. 
She gets different greens, veggies. She will sometimes get fruit, but fruit has a lot of sugar. She'll get banana sometimes, but that's a lot of potassium. So you really have to be careful about what you're feeding your dragon and making sure they can have it regularly. She got some bok choy the other day. She really likes bok choy. Normally I would do my frog next, but I don't want my mice to be defrosting for too long, just sitting in water. So we're gonna skip to Piglet and Vetter for a second. Normally Piglet gets a rat, but all I have right now is large mice and our rats don't come for another week in a bit. So today he's gonna get two mice. Normally I wouldn't recommend doing that. The less bones, the better. But today is a special day. He's getting treated to two. I shut the door when I do this because he will strike and bite me, not on purpose. Oh, oh, there you go. And while he does that, there's a bunch of random shed in here. <laughs> My tripod is currently as high up as it goes. Like literally, this is me reaching as far up as I can reach. You can see that better is kind of far up there. He is in the top opening enclosure, which I don't really like, but I had to steal his enclosure when I adopted Riot. So we had to switch things around, but honestly, he wasn't thriving in a bigger enclosure. So I'm just gonna open this and he will usually just shoot out. He does not have good aim. Oh, that was so gentle and nice. A good boy. See if I can get this. Don't break. Don't break. I like it when they're one piece. Yay. Lock it back up because he is an escape artist. Go back to my previous video. He did in fact, or my last two, I think, video, he did in fact escape. I just can't get over how I think ball pythons have a puppy face and nobody agrees with me but they really do look at any ball python meme they just think they're all that but they're not they're just cute little puppies of course mine does bite but he's still nice it's fine we have Kirby my pac-man frog he's right there and I don't feed him inside of his enclosure because he won't eat there he or she again kind of Oh my god, he almost jumped out. Usually, to start, I just let loose some crickets, worms, or, you know, anything that moves. Oh, he tried. A little pinky. We're gonna let him have it. If he wants it. Oh, he wants it. Do you like it? He'll spit it out if he doesn't like it. He he is known to spit out things. Oh, hard swallow. Here you go. Back to your house. Don't jump out though, because he will jump out of the enclosure. He's so cute. Oh, she he she, I don't know, but adorable. The lights for my fish tank are on a timer and I was about to do the water change and then the lights went out. So I'm just gonna feed the fish and the snails and do the water change tomorrow. This is BJ, Brady Jr. Uh, it's me and my boyfriend's son. And there's four snails in here. Oh, see? Isn't that funny? Anyway, so right above my Zelda shrine, we have BJ. 
Um, these are the Fluval Bug Bites. They're for beta. They're supposed to be good for beta color. And BJ is a lot brighter than when we got them. So I just shake in some of those and they will start to sink and he will get them. And for the snails, just in case you know there's not enough algae in here. Cobalt Aquatics. This is the algae grazer. I may pop one down and they will go get it and I'll usually put half on one side and half on the other side. If you're here, you've made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Winter time, Canada. I live in Canada and it gets snowy and snow is bright. And a lot of people here still wear sunglasses in the winter because of the sun shining off of the snow. This is currently my favorite pair. It's brown, it's wide. I have a small head, but these don't look super huge on me. I really like them. I feel a bit like Elton John. This pair makes me feel like a baddie and like mysterious, but also like I'm going to the movie theater, but in a good way. Like I literally love them and I love that brown pair so much. If you want a pair of sunglasses like these, you can go to miakitzone.com and use the code hashtag MiaShanesReptiles for 50% off your own pair of sunglasses or two. So I don't know, you could use the link in my description and go check it out, support the channel. Comment some Christmas emojis, I'm so excited about Christmas. If you're excited about Christmas, you should subscribe to my second channel. I'll put the link in my description. There's gonna be some vlogs on there for sure. I also have a Patreon if you wanna help support the channel. Anything there goes to feeding these babies, giving them treats, upgrading things that they need. It all goes to them. Like I said, I have a second channel, Instagram, Twitter, or X, whatever you're looking for. You can find it in the, the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye.